Good morning guys, for today's video, I'm going to talk about my long-term use of the Mi Robot Vacuum Mop Pro. At the same time, I want to replace it with some of the accessories that I got for a really cheap deal. Lastly, answer some of the questions that you guys left on my previous video. I have three things I want to say about this robot. First, the mop pad on the robot has a close contact with my floor, which is a good thing because it cleans the floor well. I'm saying this because the mop pad on my old rubber rock kind of floats in the air. And if there are some uneven tiles, this is what happens. The robot will clean up the whole place and return to dock. It will scrape bust this and the grout here will be trapped with dust and it gets darker each time. I did brush out this area once, but I'm going to go at it again. And I really appreciate this robot because it came with individual tanks for mopping, vacuuming or both together and the water tank is slightly bigger than the S5 plus it is a water control tank meaning if I fill up the water tank now and I don't use it, it will not drip and wet the floor. Overall, the Mi Robot Vacuum Mop Pro performs so well, just one issue with the brush. It traps so much hair around the brush and it's difficult to remove it. So next, I'm going to show you how I clean and replace some accessories. Because it's so gross. So for this filter, I will be washing it later. And meanwhile, I will replace it with a new filter for this. Okay, for the brush, there's a lot of hair stuck. So I tried cutting it, but it's too thick. And the only way is to replace it. Okay, so some of you asked me this question. Um, is it moldy if you leave the tank with the water drying on its own? So it looks quite clear, but let's try another one. I don't know if you can see it, but there's still some um, water inside the tank. So it seems like there is no mold growing inside. And even though the robot gave instruction to remove the mop pad after using, I don't really do that. I just leave it to dry on its own. And so far, it seems like everything is fine. I don't see any molding issue. This is the third mop pad that I've used because I have a lot of renovation going on for the videos and uh, it's very filthy in the house. So I bought a lot of extra mop pads and this is a new brush that I've been using for about two days. Up this side. So you can still see that there are some hair. But yeah, it works fine so far. This is the cover. I've got to clean this as well. Let's replace this brush too. I wanted to share with you guys, I bought my accessories from this website, Shopee Singapore. And if you live outside of Singapore, go for AliExpress. And I'm not sure if you realize this, but Xiaomi V2 is an exact copy of the Vacuum Mod Pro. And in Singapore, it's also the exact copy for Hydro S7. So I'm just trying to say that all the accessories that you see here will fit all three robots. 